It's Warwickshire Derby Day as Nuneaton Town have made the short trip up to the 66 Community Stadium seeking their fifth straight away victory. Despite postponements being a thorn in their side over the past month, Leamington will be looking to continue their good form as they come, off, come into this one off the back of two wins and a bounce for the first time this season. But it looks to be a tall order against Dino Mari's side, who are unbeaten in nine games and sit six places above the breaks in 11th place. Paul Horan's side will be looking over their shoulders as they lie just four points above the drop zone. It's an unchanged Leamington side to the one that beat Blythe Spartans by one goal to nil just under a month ago in their last competitive fixture, with Tony Breeden starting in goal, Junior English, Connor Goodger, Jamie Hood and James Mace making up the back four, Callum Gittins, Matt Dodd, Kieran Dunbar, Jack Edwards and Ahmed Obeng in the midfield, in behind Daniel Doe who starts up front. For the visitors then, who were 4-0 victors in the reverse of this fixture earlier in the season, Ross Etheridge starts in goal. Luther Wildin, Niall Heaton, Ryan Johnson and Kelvin Langmead are the four at the back. Tom Elliott, James Ferry, Ryan Beswick and Daniel Inti are the, in the midfield with George Green in behind Ashley Chambers up front. Snow and wind are the two elements affecting the match today. We'll see how they affect proceedings here today. Is Edwards with the ball over the top? Meters to Matt Dodd. He's on the side here. Well cleared out there by Ross Etheridge. Just uh, early danger signs there for Runnington Town. So Tony Breeden will take as he always uh, always does venture out his goal. Does Tony Breeden? Be uh, lofted up then. Trying to use the windy conditions to their advantage in this first half at Leamington. And Doe on the uh, left hand side of the box. Back to goal. Still and Doe. Overlapping run from Goodger. And uh, Leamington have the first corner of the game. The snow really making its presence felt here in the first uh, two minutes of the game. Floated in towards. Has to be tipped over there by Etheridge, but uh, it'll be another corner. It's Dunbar with the kick again then. This time Etheridge will collect that one, and Green's made a run through the centre. Snow really teaming down here at the uh, Phillips 66 Creed Stadium now. It'll be Junior English with the throw in then. Seems to have adopted to the right back position after his uh, brilliant performance against Blythe Spartans last time out. Here's Green, searching ball to the uh, left hand side to Indy. Indy now faced by English. He's got an overlapping run from Elliott, chooses to cut inside. Finds Beswick. Just turns away from Dunbar and uh, finds his right back, Wilding. Here's Wilding, finds the ball to Indy. First time shot, and it's just wide of Tony Breeden's goal. Early danger signs there from Nuneaton, just a move on this left hand side, found its way inside to the uh, winger and D. It's delivered by Dunbar then. And he's uh, through to let it slip through his fingers. It's calls for a uh, goal from behind the fans more than the players. But here's good to the move, still alive here. Connor Goodger into the box. That's a good save down to his right hand side by Etheridge. I think it was Daniel and Doe with the final touch on the way through. But Leamington really piling on the pressure in the first 10 minutes of this game. So they yet win yet another corner. These corners have proven to be a bit of a hassle for the Leamington defence, which caught in the wind. Dunbar with the free kick then. It's floated in towards the back post, in towards Mace. Etheridge came but didn't get convincing contact on it. It's behind for a low that Leamington corner. Paul Holleran really want to make this pressure count in the first 50 minutes of the game. And break this deadlock with Dunbar then. Keeper came. Here's Gittins. It's well blocked. I think that was uh, Long Langmead uh, with a sliding challenge blocking Gittins' attempt. But it'll be another Leamington corner.
Ryan Johnson. He's going to get a hold of that, but uh, Gittins will cut that one out, and it's searching for Ndo there, but uh, Beswick is dodged, faced by Elliot once again. Elliot wins that contest. Flood is Chambers, found by Ferry. Ashley Chambers cuts back inside, finds the shot. It's a good save down to his right-hand side by Tony Breeden. Just see the danger of first-time ball from James Ferry. Ashley Chambers making space for himself, but in the end it was a bit of a tame shot. Cut out well by uh, Beswick. Here's Ndo. It's a brilliant ball out to Ahmad Obeng on the left-hand side. Just forced a bit wide here, the Leventon winger. Obeng to the touchline. Goes down to the challenge, and the referee points to the spot. It was Luther Wilding with the challenge on Ahmad Obeng. And the Leventon winger took a tumble. And Scott Simpson points us to the spot and Lewington have the opportunity to break the deadlock in this Warwickshire derby. It's a great ball out by uh, Daniel Doe in the first instance to find up and over on the left-hand side. And Matt Dodds taking responsibility from the spot. Just goes down to the challenge. It's a clear penalty. Now Lewington have the chance to take the lead. Ten minutes before half-time make their pressure from this first half count. Be Matt Dodd from the spot then. Yeah! Calm and composed. It's the bottom right hand corner. Matt Dodd celebrates the Leamington faithful and it's advantage Leamington in the Warwickshire derby. It's Leamington 1, Nuneaton Town 0. And Leamington made all their pressure in the first half count from the spot. Very cool and composed penalty there by Matt Dodd. And Lenton look to kick on and extend this one goal lead. <laughs> wins, uh, wins bit tamer now and a hesitation there and here's Chambers actually Chambers finds a ball to the back post here's George Green and he hits the bar and it's cleared away by Dunbar moves to the life here is Tom Elliott it's deflected wide and it'll be a so not deflected big pardon it's the goal kick there what's a chance for the needs to get themselves back into the game some miscommunication in the center Allowed Ashley Chambers down the left-hand side. Found the ball to George Green, who had time to take it under control, take a touch, but just lofted his shot onto the crossbar. And it's still 1-0 to Lewington here. Can Lewington take advantage of the missed opportunity by the Neaton? Yeah, Leventon have the chance to uh, double their advantage. It's up into the air. Yeah, it seems to be a corner. It's Dunbar with a floater in. So it got all the way through, it's off the line. And D will clear his good job. Back towards the corner taker, Dunbar. Here is Kieran Dunbar, finds a ball through to Ndo, turns the defender, Daniel Ndo! Oh, Strikes high into the stands. What's an opportunity to that was for Lewington to double their lead. It's a great ball through to Daniel Ndo, turned his defender with ease, but just couldn't keep his shot down. And it remains 1-0 to Lewington as we head into the break here. His Dunbar on towards Ndo. It's a good hold up by Ndo, but it's cleared by 
Wilding. It's indeed through to George Green. Here is Green. Here's Elliot. Chambers on the right hand side of the box. It's a good, good opportunity there for Nuneaton. Just Elliot just couldn't get enough contact on it to really make Tony Green and work. But it was a good move there by Nuneaton. Positive signs coming out of the uh, change rooms into the second half. Well worked free kick into George Green on the touchline, gets into the box. It's well blocked by Tony Green and Kelvin Lamy just can't get the final touch to the back post. But Lamington will caught sleep in there. George Green just running off the free kick, getting the ball into the box. There's George Green. Heaton. Tries to get out towards Elliott. It's well kept in there. Here's Elliot, gets away from the challenge of Gittins. Still to Elliot now. It's a good tackle there. Here's Ferry. It's cleared. Leamington just done, found themselves a bit under the cosh at the start of the second half. Flicked on by Chambers, but uh, into the hands of Tony Breeden. Uh, they need to come out the blocks very fast at the start of the second half. We, uh, Ryan Bestwick to take this one then. Floating in towards the back post. Heaton flicks on his George Green the first time volley. It's led by Edwards. Is Ferry back towards George Green. Former Tranmere man on the right hand side. Tries to find some space. Floats the ball in. Headed goal. It's hit the bar. So unlucky on Eaton Town. It's the second time they've hit the bar this match. I think it was Kelvin Langmey with the header there. They've got another corner really. Lewington penalty area under siege here. Early in the second half. Dunbar offs himself in the middle here. Here's Kieran Dunbar. It's a good ball out towards Ndo. The crew out to lone man faced by uh, Will Ivemore. Here's good judge just the way he would cross, but uh, the attack's still alive here. Matt Dodd will uh, collect the scraps on the right hand side. It's faced by Heaton, and uh, Heaton will win that contest and clear out field. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's a wild challenge from George Green, but the referee deems it to be okay. Here's D. There's no need to look to counter attack, but the wayward touch allows James Mace to get his foot in there. Here's Wilding. Beswick, Ferry. Finds, sees the run of uh, Ashley Chambers down the right hand side. Chambers into D In the penalty area. It's a good save by Tony Breeden. It's a good snapshot there by Daniel and T. Free kick then. It's palmed out by Breeden. Here's Tom Elliott. Lives back to the box. Headed out by Jamie Hood. Here's Ryan Johnson towards uh, Heaton, faced by English. Come Johnson again. It's George Green through the legs of Jack Edwards. Green! Well deflected there by James Mace. It's good skill there by George Green to get into a shooting position. And then Heaton will continue to pile on the pressure in the second half. Is Kyron Mitchell. It's well blocked. There's Wilding. It's Ferry on the right hand side, faced by Edwards. Still Ferry. Tiptoe his way into the area. And still goes down to the challenge. Ball finds way to Tony Breeden in the end. And Lemonson survive another siege. Jeff, Jeff. 
Luther Wilding. Cut out, but still, here's the right back still. James Ferry now, safe to shoot. It's just past Tony Breeden's left hand post. More danger signs, Leamington cannot let none of the players wander into space like that. Under eight minutes remaining here. Hits the box. It's loose. A shot for hands, referee waves them away. It's up in the air again. Out by Jamie Hood. Here's Tom Elliott though, faced by Dunbar. It's back in by Heaton. And uh, Obeng will clear upfield. And only goes far as Wilding. Knocks it past Dunbar. It's Wilding again. Work your feet! Work your feet! Billy Daniels the substitute. Daniels again. Finds the ball to the back post. It's headed down. It's palmed well out by Tony Breeden. It's a great save though by Tony Breeden. Good reflexes to uh, prevent Kevin Langmead. Heaton once again. Flicked on again. Good job. Prevents it from going out for a corner. Heaton to Bestwick. Bestwick to the back post. And a flying Tony Breeden claims the ball into his gloves and relieves yet another siege for Levington and buys the home side a few more vital seconds. Gittins will win that one, but it's back towards his own goal. And Goodger can only put it out for a corner kick. We're in the second minute of uh, added on time here. Kieran! 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 It's delivered into the back post. Cleared away. Shot there by Chambers. We're deflected out for another corner. Chambers and uh, Breeden will claim that one. <laughs> top towards Chambers, who wins that's inside. Best quick over the top towards Mitchell, substitute. Ferry, substitutes uh, Billy Daniels, Wilding, dispossessed by Obeng and he'll clear up field. Just under a minute left on the clock. Edwards will win that one and English will clear the bicycle kick. Here's Heaton. Elliot now with a bit of space. Heaton again. Finds the ball into the area. It's well claimed by Tony Breeden. We've got 20 seconds left. Or additional time. It's up towards. Mitchell goes down to the challenge. And that's full time. Leamington hang on to a vital 1 0 victory here. It's Leamington's day on Derby Day as they beat Nuneaton by one goal to nil. It was a Matt Dodd penalty, the difference between the two sides on 34 minutes. And despite uh, relentless Nuneaton pressure throughout the second half, Leamington hang on for their third win on the bounce. It's finished here, Leamington 1, Nuneaton Town nil. Well, have you got the highlight? task is cutting that together. What's going on? So Paul, a great three points today against a very informed and eaten sound side. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, just touching on it there, it was um, 
you know, we should have had a look at them last week, and I went up and watched them at Harrogate. You know, they, the, the manager Dino has done really well here. They've uh, uh, the scoring goals, uh, the, the, kind, the, the, the system they've set up with it work. It's working for them. Um, and we spent a bit of time talking about it this week with the boys, and certainly today in the team meeting. That um, certainly not trying to big them up too much, but I think you have to. It was important that we all understood what they were about and uh, and how good they are at it. Um, and once we got through that, we we then spoke about maybe the flaws in that system that we, we could maybe expose. Um, and listen, as I said, touched on there, conditions have played a big part in today. Listen, it's been difficult for everybody. Um, We've played the conditions better. I don't think anyone could argue with that. I thought our first half performance, we spoke about if we wanted to, we wanted to win the toss first half. We wanted to put them under pressure. We've done that, and we spoke about forward, forward football, forward running, forward passing, direct, and ask questions. And we did that. And the only thing that was missing was the finishing on a couple of three occasions to maybe possibly put the the game to bed. Second half. Is one nil going to be enough in these? You know, it was a big advantage, and I, you know, and as much as I said we we played well with the conditions first half, we've probably played even better second half because we were clever. We've defended our box extremely well. Um, we slowed the game down when we could. We still looked a threat on a on a counter attack, and we've probably limited none into one or two chances. Um, so, a really good day for us all round, and, and some massive performances. You talk about performances, James Mason and uh, Jamie Hood won every single thing at the back. Yeah, listen, the amount of headers, then pair and, uh, and the two full-backs as well, was an important role. The, I brought them in a bit narrower today with the system, with, you know, with sort of the no and playing the two and the one behind. And, you know, like you say, the amount of tackles and headers, the amount of headers then two of one, the two centre-arms and then the tackles, Connor and Junior and, and the covering as well. Listen, great effort and, you know, if you're going to keep clean sheets in this division, you, you know, everyone's got to be switched on at it. Defending your box well, covering well, getting around each other well, runners. And as I said, there you can talk about a lot of stats in football. You can talk a lot of sports science, and I'm all for it and whatever. But you know, on a day like today, you've got to show a lot of just grit, determination, go to the basics well. And um, there were some big arts out there today, some big performances. So I, I, you know, it's uh, I couldn't be happier. You know, I couldn't be happier. And it's three three clean sheets on the bounce for us, which is a fantastic effort.